What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of After Hours with the Boys. Today we're going to be showing you a fleece power flow sending unit uh, for the Duramaxes. You Duramax guys know your sending unit in the tank doesn't actually pump fuel. This one has a hole in the top of it. This will uh, pro prolong the life of your injection pump and your Duramaxes. This is a 06 LBC. So we're just going to kind of follow along here with me and uh, install this thing. So there's not much to this kit. You get your harness, some zip ties, a new seal on the tank, your float. Uh, we're going to go ahead and replace this because, like I said, uh, the sending unit in the truck has a hole rusted through it. So we're going to go ahead and replace that. And then here is the power flow pump. We're going to go ahead and start by removing this shield right here. And then... We're going to take the fuel lines apart up here. There's going to be two of them. And then we'll get the straps off and start dropping this tank. Then we got the shield off. We're going to have to reach up above here. Right there by those lines, we're going to have to take the, or unplug the sending unit. And then we'll have to get the filler neck loose off of it and then these two straps bolted from the other side okay so we started by these fuel lines up here see that one's already done i just use these plastic quick uh, disconnect tools you can see i still have one on there and i usually take some Penetro or something, some penetrating oil, and spray inside these, especially if they're rusty, and let them soak for a little bit. Go ahead and unplug the um, sending unit wiring harness off the top of it, and I'll show you that when I get the tank down, and then when I get the vent hose down, and then I'll move over to this side and start by undoing the fill neck. And I think there's one other tube up there on the front side of the tank. Cut this back strap off because the bolt ended up spinning up there. So it's pretty, pretty rusty. So we'll be getting new hardware and straps. But you can see this guy who has losing fuel prime. And I rebuilt the filter head because it was leaking fuel. And you can see, I'm not going to pick at it, but these are actually holes into the tank. Um, so I'll have to sweep all this off, get this out, and we're probably going to um, get the fuel out of this thing and sweep and clean the bottom of this tank because I have a good feeling there's a lot of rust down in there. And as you can see, this is why we're replacing this ring. We just had a good feeling if the sending unit you know, was this rusty the ring probably is too so I'm gonna get a vacuum sweep all this stuff off get these fuel lines off the sending unit and try to pop this thing out so a quick little tip I did um, this stuff right here is Penetro we also sell that on our website um, it's what we use in the shop but I took a little screwdriver and kind of broke up stuff that was down in here and around the fuel lines um, and then I sprayed Penetro in there I'm gonna let them soak so Schaefer's Penetro 90 uh, we use a lot of Schaefer's product here in the shop but this is our penetrating oil that we use in here um, stuff works great so that's what I have sprayed all around that and inside those fuel lines pull this thing out with the lines on it anyway so i'm just going to put the ring like this you can just kind of see and if you need um if you're going to have this thing out for a little bit just pay attention to where this little tab is on your sending unit the old one will go there it does uh does sit down in between there and remember how your ring comes off flat surface down all 
right, while the tank's out, we're gonna be waiting on hardware here. Well, we should have it this morning. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start running the uh, wiring harness. I'm just, I like to run it with the factory harness, gives you something good to zip tie to. Um, so these two four pin connectors, they're gonna go up over the tank. And then the rest of this stuff is kind of like a fast. Um, we're just gonna give it battery, power and ground. We have a fuse in here, a relay, and a add a fuse link right here. You're gonna find an ignition power. Uh, so when you flip the key on, this thing stays running. So I'm just gonna hang that roughly where the sending unit's gonna be, and then I'll show you guys back here the hardware we're changing out and why. Right there is where one of the tank strap bolts goes through, and it has one of these clips in it. Uh, the bolt was rusty, as you can imagine, and spun spun the top half and broke it away. Um, that's the reason I had to cut the strap off. Finally got that bolt out. And then that is the harness I'm going to run the fleece harness with. So the black and orange right there is the fleece harness. I just run it up with this harness. When I get the tank in, I'll pop this inner fender wall out and run these up. And then we'll go to the fuse box and the battery up here and it's just plug in. Let me see if I can't get both of them over here. So here is the factory four pin connector and you will plug it in. Um, like the black and then this white or light gray will go to the sending unit all right got the pump in the new ring on fuel lines on new clips in and then went ahead and plugged this together that's ran down the frame rail um here's what these clips look like so basically the bolt got stuck and broke this tab right here and just was spinning when you're trying to loosen it so i'm gonna get someone to help me put the tank back up on the jack put our new straps on all right so i got this thing finished up here i was trying to video uh me bringing the wires up they're just behind this fender well. Here's your power wire and your ground going to the battery. Here's that added fuse going to an ignition source. That's where I mounted the relay. And there's the pump right on top. You can't see it real good now, but there is the pump. So with this guy, Having a priming issue and wanting a fast, it was a good thing, kind of. That ascending unit had a hole rusted in it, or a couple actually. So key on. You can kind of hear that thing. It's not real loud, pretty quiet. Fires right up. No priming issue now. So it's pretty handy that fleece makes a power flow pump deal like they do especially for these duramaxes it's just easy drop the tank swap it out run a harness and it's pretty much plug and play so you can find all this stuff at zzdiesel.com